you offer them option and tier pricing. So this is the three boxes, right? We have good, better, and best. So you can do tier pricing. No less than 5% often, right? To as much as 20% of your prospects are always are for better or premium option, right? And or to ascend to higher prices, tiers, because who they are as much as more than because of the offer. What I mean is you could have three tiers and within that you can have, let's say, good, better, and best. But within that, you can sometimes still have tiers, right? So what we have is an example, right? Let's say Sudef. So Sudef so would apply and join and become a Red Dragon, right? Red Dragon. But within Dragon 100, it's, we, have, we have three tiers. What are the three tiers, right? We have the Red Dragon, we have the Black, and then we have Dragon X. So I have a tier structure with different pricing, right? Within the offer itself. So this is 100K, right? To 1 million in revenue. This is 1 million to 10 million. And this is 10 million and up. So I have tier pricing, right? And in, in the membership fee for each is different. Different things they get. And not so much the content. The content is the differentiation. But mainly who they hang out with. Red Dragon hangs out with Red Dragon. We have an exclusive Slack for Red. And then we have the virtual board meeting, which is Red Dragon is in the group meeting with Red. So at the same level, from 100,000 to 1 million, and then the Black Dragons are hanging out with Black Dragons from that level to that level. That's the, 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 the big differentiation. And as you get through this level, then the Dragons are, are looking at, I want to hang out with people at a high level. Right? It's, it's a different level. Right? It's, it's access to that. Like it's okay, like it's great. I hang out with Red, with, with Red Dragons, we're growing, but these guys are doing like, let's say you're doing $100,000, but these guys are doing 5 million. I want to see what they're doing, right? It's a different group, so they the access. If you have a price and you're hesitant about just raising it, figure out a way to add a premium choice. Then you can create the, the options. So I am creating these options up front upfront versus if imagine I have one tier and later on I say hey you know what I want to increase the price for the dragon dragon membership for X amount of dollars I could do it it's not an issue but why not just have that day one and create the differentiation right it also extends the, the lifetime value I need them to get to this in order to in, co-invest with us and do the hundreds of millions of dollars, man. Right? I need them to be liquid. So I need to get them here. I don't want them to stay here. It's not enough money. It's too small. $10 million. Let's say you're doing $2 million in, in net profit. Okay. Well, then you can invest half a million. You can invest a million. Right? A hundred of those, that's a hundred million. That's more interesting. Right? Each tier will limit to a hundred people. Ever. That's it. 100, 100, 100. We hit it, no more access. That's it. I don't want more access. That's why it's Dragon 100. It's 100 each tier. That's it. All I need is to help them elevate. And then as they make more money and make more money, we co-invest in, in a, lot, a lot of these, these, these deals. Right? And that, that's how we do it. Right? It's, 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 a, it's a community. It's an advisory group. It's an investment club. And within there, we're going to create generational wealth. It's pretty simple. Not a complex thing, is it? Then Sifu doesn't need to focus on too many. It's just, oh, yeah, I just focus on serving them, elevating them, helping them become as successful as possible, share everything I know with them, because it's, it's my best interest to get them from here to here to here, right? I want them to make tens of millions of dollars, right? I want them to make, want them to make as much money as possible, right? But it's the only way. It will, it will grow. If you need to, you could sometimes take something out. So when you are talking about the offer, let's say you want to charge more money, you can go back to your, your existing clients and you tell them, hey, let's say before you have one offer, now you got the tier structure, you can go back to them and say, 
we, what we're going to do is we are going to increase price. Let's say you've been selling this thing and I'm going to increase the, this price. Oh, I don't want to pay that. That's okay. Then we could take out a couple of things. Then you only need to pay this price. Just indirectly, it becomes a downsell. If they are, they're not happy with you drastically increasing the price. Yeah. But then now you have something that you can bring people in at a new higher price. You can do that as well. So there are many ways you can use the tier structure, right? As a downsell, as an introduction to a new thing, or you can increase price. Many ways you can do this. So here's a step. I'm going to give you a simple, simple step-by-step -step formula. So you identify a product, if you, you want to increase price using tier, tier structure, identify a product that you want to offer, just create an A, B option. Keep it simple. You got something, create an A, B option, a standard and a premium. Then step two, you determine the premium price, like the option B. So we've got a standard, this is how much, we've got this thing going on, right? So this is, again, 1,000 bucks. Basic, standard. Okay, what's the premium? The premium is going to be eh, 2,000. So I'm going to, you can add 25%, 30%, or 50%, 100%. That depends on your niche. You can see car wash and diesel detailing service. You can see that big difference in pricing, right? 125, 150, 200. And sometimes, how many seen that the car wash, different car, different prices, right? You got a van, it's a little bit more money. Small car, a little bit cheaper. Same thing. It's the same shit. The water and the shampoo, right? But they have found a way to increase margins. Then you would describe why this thing costs more money, right? Make it reasonable. Is it better quality? Did they get extra service or speed, right? Make it seem believable. There's a reasonable explanation for the price. Is it better materials? Is it high skill uh, labor? Is it faster turnaround, right? You can charge for speed as well. That makes the price actually irrelevant to, for the discussion. So a thousand, two thousand bucks. And then what you do is this. You introduce it to the marketplace and your client is thinking, well, why would I pay for that? You're going after better clients who could afford this. You're going after better clients. So you ask yourself, am I going after better clients who can afford to invest what I deserve? Am I creating prices based on the benefits and value rather than on the features and the deliveries. If you're focusing on the features and deliveries, you will never charge enough. Am I providing context, right? Not content, but context for the price that informs the customer of the real value from which they can see the final price is actually a discount. Then you put both options in front of the marketplace, in front of the same people you were putting in front of before. So you've been marketing, you've been marketing, then what happens is you will see, I promise you, five to 20% of the people, because it's who they are, has nothing to do with what you sell, will say, give me this thing. Give, give, give me that, that super duper premium thing that you got, right? There's always a percentage, it's just who they are, right? As long as it makes sense, they want to buy that. One lesson you will learn is this, if you have more, if you put the offer in front of the same people, and you have more than 50% taking the high offer, what it tells you is that you're charging too low. That means we're leaving money on the table. In this case, throw out your lowest offer, right? Now the 2,000, this becomes a 2,000, now you've got 5,000, right? This becomes a lower offer, you increase the price, now you, you, you bump up the price for this. It's the easiest way to do this. And you'd be shocked when you do this. Like, wow, I'm getting all this extra profit, like, without extra work. Amazing. And you're gonna make more profit from, 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 from these group customers than the other group.